Okay, I'm going to do a quick, I guess, vlog, because uh, I had several questions on finding morels um, in uh, on the short that I posted. So I'm going to give you a few tips about where we find them in our area. You know, your mileage may vary, but I'll tell you what's going on here. Okay, so this is the kind of terrain we normally find morels in. It's a mix of hardwoods and cedar, and usually there's a lot of briars, and of course you don't really get lucky until you start getting ticks, um, which we did today. So uh, I wasn't expecting much because we had a hard freeze last night, and I've been somewhat surprised. So the tree here in front of me is an ash tree, and if you look at the bark, I guess you would call it kind of lacy um and in the frame now you've got an oak a couple of cedars a hickory tree in the distance there the tree right straight in front of the camera is another ash tree there's another one behind it another hickory okay the hickories and the oaks are irrelevant for us what we normally try to look for is uh, or are ash trees a little bit of moisture and cedar trees in the area and you know then briars and we've got buck brush okay there's a mushroom right down here if i can find it again I don't think I stepped on it, but I, <laughs> oh, there, but I sure can't find it easy. Okay, so what we normally do is go along and look at the base of ash trees. We've also found them as sycamore trees and uh, first year dead elm trees. All right, there's one right here at the base of this elm tree, so I'm going to zoom in on it. Okay, see if you can see it. And there it is right there. Kind of in the center of the frame. They're pretty hard to see. What we have around here are dark brown ones, gray ones, and golden ones. I would consider this one to be, you know, brownish gray. And they seem to come out at different times of the, the growing season. So... Early on, we have a tendency to find a lot of the uh, the smaller grays and browns. And then as the season progresses, we tend to find some of the bigger uh, golden ones. So, and then what I usually do is just take a knife, clean back to get toward the base of the stem and oops sorry and cut it off okay now there are some things called a false morel that look a lot like this and they're usually a lot bigger but the way you can tell if you've got a true morel is when you open it up cut it open it's hollow all the way through if you cut something open that looks like this and it's solid, don't eat it because it's poisonous. All right. Well, if we see something else, I'll whip the camera out again, but hopefully that was helpful. Okay, here's another ash tree. It's out by the county road. And one of the things that helps me recognize ash trees is one, I've never seen a straight one. They usually have a curve in them somewhere. And two... I think that the bark kind of looks like what a morel looks like. So we were about to go on by this and ignore it. And there's one right there. They're kind of hard to see, but once you figure out what they look like and where to look for them, you can find them. Here's another ash tree. It's a pretty old one. 
in one of our fence lines and along the root one of the roots coming out you see there's one there and there's one up right behind it right there these are the mushrooms that we found today it's a little misleading because they're actually cut in half while they're soaking in salt water it gets rid of hitchhikers and if you find any that are a little older it kind of rehydrates them so what i was saying early on about uh, the false morels and actual morels being hollow if you look at it when oh hmm. So is that a piece? That's a piece of stick, not a piece of bug. Anyway, if you cut one open and it doesn't look hollow on the inside like this, don't eat it because it's not a morel. And it's poisonous. Mildly poisonous, but poisonous nonetheless. And if you look in here, you can see the different colors I was talking about. There's gray, brown, there's uh, the golden here, and that's kind of a golden brown. You know, they, they come in a range of different colors. Some of them are almost black in the highlights. Um, but different parts of the farm that we have we find different colors at different times of the year. So, anyway, thanks for watching.